to begin with, obviously the first couple of months were really difficult to deal with. Um, I stopped training completely. I sort of locked myself away. You know, every time a fire goes into the ring, they, they don't expect anything like that to happen. I was on the verge of packing boxing in for good. You no, know, but with, with the right people around me, um, family, friends, my girlfriend, uh, we've, you know, we, got, we got through it together. Um, and the support I received from Mike's friends and family at um, his funeral. You know, everyone was so supportive, um, you know, just encouraging me to go on to, to win the British title for, for Mike as well as myself. So I think that, that's what got me through it. And then I made a decision then to go back to the gym and carry on the dream. I've got a good sponsor on board, Castle Scaffolding, who got behind me before my last fight. And they've, they've stuck with me, and which I'm very grateful for. So I'm, I'm able to train full time um, which is something I haven't been able to do all the way through my professional career. I'm coming to St Joseph's gym every morning. I'm grafting here, you know, for a couple of hours. I go home, rest, and I do my road work in the night. In this gym, there's obviously um, a lot more members. The best being Lee Selby, current world champion. So the, the variety of sparring I've got here is, you know, fantastic. You come here on a daily basis on the top class, world class sparring this year.